you know what time it is. It's time to write. Write with me. So as always, we start the session with breathing. Why? Because we are centering ourselves. We are channeling creativity. So let's just take the next 30 seconds to just breathe. Cool? Um, still in the midst of this pandemic, and we are still forced to communicate through screens, through Zoom, um, to have class in a Zoom, um, to be creative, whether it be through TikTok, through Instagram, Facebook, through our writings. Um, but we're not back in the same room. And I know how tough and challenging it can be. And for some of us, maybe we're used to it. And there's some challenging days, but there are also some good days as well. But what I found is that I am alone with my thoughts most of the time. And one of the things that I've been learning how to do is get out of my head. I know I've spoke to a couple of you guys and some of you guys have shared with me that you overthink a lot. So this writing workshop is dedicated to all the overthinkers, the procrastinators, the overcompensators, the overdoers, in other words, this workshop is for you. The perfectionist. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to explore the thoughts that come up in our head that makes us overthink. Um, and then we're going to ask it some questions. Now the goal of this writing workshop is not to generally throw it all away or to erase it or even do a magic trick to where they're completely gone. But it is, however, to give us grace. So as always, write with me. You need a paper and pencil for this. And the next shot is going to show you how you're going to draw. You're going to draw a head and a neck and a body. Once you draw this body on the inside where it says you, I want you to write all of the things that you overthink about. Um, this exercise helps me whenever I'm overthinking something, just kind of seeing the words in front of me. Once you write those words down, I want you to take a good look at it. And now whether they be bad or good doesn't need your judgment. Just take a look at it. Next thing I want you to do is on the outside of your head, I want you to write all of the things that people have affirmed about you. Wow, you're a really good uh, mechanic. Wow, you have a beautiful smile. Whoa, you walk really fast. Or wow, you really take a moment to just sit with yourself. All of those things, compliments or maybe things that people have noticed about you are things. I just want you to write those things outside of your head. When you're complete, take a look at it. Once you've taken a look at it, now I want you to sit with the thoughts that run through your head and I want you to sit with the thoughts that people have affirmed about you. Then I want you to acknowledge and honor all of the thoughts that come up within you, whether good, whether bad, or whatever judgment that you give it, all of those things are thoughts and they're rooted from something. Now, something I've learned is that some of my own thoughts come from internalizing oppression in certain ways, whether it be family trauma or from workplaces or even school. Nonetheless, they're thoughts, but there are also some things that along the way um, I've caused harm to myself. These thoughts that we hold inside of our brains, our minds, our bodies are very important. It's important not to judge those thoughts when they do come, but simply ask it. So here are the four questions that I want you to ask yourself when you start to overthink, and maybe this activity would help. Number one, what are you here to remind me? Number two, are you causing me harm? Number three, how can I show up for myself in this moment? And number four, is it true? Well, that's today's writing workshop, and I really hope that this exercise really helps you explore your overthinking. Um, and as always, I hope that you share with someone, and if you choose not to share with someone and you choose to share it with your own self instead, that is also okay. As always, right away. Peace.